Hi everyone! I've recently got on stock this highly coveted piece and I decided to make a separate video review of the one and only Louis Vuitton Speedy Monogram of Flash. <laughs> You will learn whether you need this bag in your collection and if you're looking to buy this, I want to remind you that this item is available on our website. You can find the link in the video description. Let's start! I'm excited! Overall, Louis Vuitton released more than 50 limited edition speedies and that's the most coveted speedy, probably after the Speedy Union Jack. There were only 20 of them released ever in the whole world, but that's the second one. And uh, one more thing, this bag is very, a very, very expensive one. It's almost the price of a Birkin. And uh, when it was first released, uh, the price was a little over 1000 bucks. And currently, um, you probably know that, but you can check Fashion File or any other Prelab Luxury website and you will see that the, the current price it's, it's going for is over 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, in some cases even $7,000. So it's almost the price of an Hermes item. Take a look at this bag and see whether it's worth the money. Right? Let me show you the item. It's made of canvas and uh, well, it's the same kind of canvas Louis Vuitton uses for their monogram items, just with a different type of print, right? It also has this fabric stripes, uh, which remind a little bit of a small key pole, right? This luggage tag only goes for around several hundreds of dollars. Uh, so it's quite expensive and quite special. If you're thinking about getting this bag, about purchasing it for your collection, you want to become a collector or you are already a collector of uh, limited edition speedies, I'd say go for it because the price is skyrocketing every year. And uh, two years ago, I've seen this bag for around like $3,000, maybe, maybe even $2,000 for a fair condition. And currently I'm seeing the prices like higher than $6,000. And well, I can say that that's a good investment. I can't promise the prices will keep raising though. Uh, and I don't expect it actually. Probably they will lower a little bit because it's crazy expensive for a canvas bag. It's not even a leather bag, right? It's just a limited edition that re reminds us about military service and everyone who is connected in any way to military service is in love with this item just, just because, just because you can't fall out of love with it. In terms of size, by the way, this PD was only released in size 35. So that's the only size you can find for this item. If this size is not for you, I'm sorry. It was only released in 35. There are Vachetta handles, Vachetta leather handles, just like in any other Speedy edition, right? And uh, well, the tags, well, everything actually is uh, made from the same type of materials as other speedies that Louis Vuitton produces, which are not a limited editions. Uh, regarding the wear and tear, I haven't actually heard too much about any issues with this bag. So if you buy it and you want to wear it, not just like put it on a shelf and admire it before you go to bed, what are the types of wear that you might expect from this bag, right? So these are the corners, uh, the print can be rubbed a little bit, like, like here, maybe you can see that, I hope you can see that, which is very typical for all Louis Vuitton limited editions and all Louis Vuitton bags in general, right? And uh, I haven't heard anything about the cracking around the top zipper, but it really depends on how you are using your bag. I've seen this uh, type of speedies in very very fair condition almost junk condition and they had cracks but I, I wouldn't say it's typical right 
So if you are uh, buying a bag which is in good condition, which doesn't have cracks, you might expect that it won't have cracks if you will care about the bag and if you won't pull the, the sides of the bag too much for the cracks to appear. This item was released in 2008, so you can only find it pre-loved and uh, it's up to you uh, whether to look for perfect condition or to look for a bag that maybe has some stains or wear uh, on the handles because actually um, if the canvas is fine you can no longer care for the vachetta elements because you can always replace them at louis vuitton if you found a bag and the canvas is good but uh the vachetta parts show wear that you wouldn't uh, love to see on your bag you can take it to louis vuitton and have the handles or the uh, this uh, zipper puller or any types of uh, leather elements replaced and the bag will look like new. If we compare this monogram of flash Speedy to a Speedy 35, the main difference for me would be the shape. I mean, this bag is more structured than a regular um, Speedy bag. And uh, I, I love the fact that it's structured because I'm not really a fan of organizers uh, inside the Speedy because the opening is not very usable and comfortable for me. Um, so this type of Speedy is definitely a winner uh, when it comes to uh, bag structure. If you're wondering what the inside looks like, uh, I can tell you, uh, I can show it to you. It's fabric and uh, well, green color fabric so it's quite nice uh, the bag is currently empty and you can see that uh, it, it keeps the shape pretty good and it hangs on nicely if you still don't know whether you want this bag in your collection or not here's what I recommend if you are a Louis Vuitton collector and you're looking for this specific item for your collection to be complete um, then I'd say go for it because that's a really special item and every Louis Vuitton fan, every Louis Vuitton collector will understand the value of this piece and the value is incredible. I can say that uh, it's, yeah, it's the most expensive Speedy limited edition right after Union Jack. If you still don't know whether you want this bag for your collection or not, Here's what I recommend. If you are a collector, a Louis Vuitton collector, and you're looking for this specific piece to be added to your collection, I'd say go for it because it's valuable. And uh, well, every Louis Vuitton collector, every Louis Vuitton fan will understand the value of this item. And uh, well, you won't see too many of them on the streets, right? So it's very, very special. Um, if you are just looking for some type of investment, well, you consider this bag as an investment, I'd say go for it too, because the value increases every year and, uh, well, probably uh, in, in several years, this beauty will cost about twice as much as it is as it's, it's now. Um, I mean, we're selling it for around $5,000 and probably it will be probably even more. If you are just looking for some kind of bag in a military pattern, I'd say that's not the best value for your money because you will have to pay much. I don't know, I think you can find a lot of other bags like Valentino or Prada or I mean other bags in the same pattern in camouflage uh, or like reminding us about the camouflage, right? And uh, it will be better value um, for you because you don't need this specific bag. However, every Louis Vuitton collector is dreaming about this bag and I know that because I've been collecting limited edition Speedy since, uh, I don't know, five years maybe. And uh, that's the first time I saw this uh, rare unicorn and uh, I was totally in love. Eventually I decided to sell it just because they, I'm not a big fan of speedies in general. Um, I'm not a big fan of the shape and uh, of the fact that almost all limited edition don't have a uh, bandolier strap, uh, which is not my case because I need a crossbody strap for my bag and I don't like the slouchy shape. Uh, so that's, 
probably not my choice, but uh, I'm sure that it will find a new home. Someone will love her just as much as I did while it was in my possession. Well, thank you for watching the review and I hope you decided for yourself whether you need this bag or not in your collection. If you love the review, like it and subscribe to the channel and see you next week. Bye.